Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the. I gotta look at the calendar. Hold on. Thirty first, thirty first. But you know the timing is fluid. So, I've lost track of time because I know the timing is fluid. I really don't care. <laughs> Anyhow, what do we have? What do we have for a message today? We're going to start right here. What do we have? One card, please. The garden and the gate. We have somebody here that is waiting. They're waiting for, it looks like we, they're waiting for an arrival, right? They're waiting for somebody to arrive. Um, waiting patiently, perhaps? It's like, when are they going to come? Been waiting, 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 waiting. Now, probably praying, doing a lot of thinking. It's a, it seems to be a beautiful day. Perhaps thinking, uh, the grass looks pretty green over there. Should I just go by myself? Should I stay here and wait? What should I do? So we got somebody, a message is coming. You see the birds that, and yeah, it's a butterflies or birds. Anyway, there's about to be a transformation. Somebody's about to step outside of their cocoon, but I do feel like there's messages coming because of that bird house. There is a message that is coming. This person has been waiting. They don't want to go by themselves, you know, waiting for somebody to come to take them. You know, I'm waiting for you. Somebody's been waiting and this person... Uh, is waiting. Okay, we got a waiting game going on. That's that's really all I can say. Um, it's almost like an escort of some sort, ready ready to be escorted, you know, into greener pastures, waiting for their soulmate. We have somebody here that is waiting for their soulmate. Looks to me like their soulmate is coming. Okay, we got this man holding heart, this person. But, you know, whenever I see this card, it feels like his heart has been ripped out of his chest. You know, and I don't I don't know what the book says because I don't even know what the book is. But I go by what my intuition says. My intuition says we have a man here that is holding his heart. He hasn't given it away yet. He may, he may have been, been ripped out and he doesn't know who he wants to give it to because, you know, it's... It hurts when a heart gets ripped out. This is heartache. It's heart pain. You know, so we have a man and we actually could have a man that is holding his heart because he's in some sort of pain when you get this card. So just you think about I mean, you got to look at it metaphorically, man holding heart. If a man is having a heart attack, you know, he's going to hold his heart. Um, so just keep, this could be a man uh, withholding his love. Okay, hasn't given his love away to anybody yet. Um, recently, you know, maybe they have in the past and it got ripped out. And now, I'm, you know, I'm not sure. It looks like this person's getting ready. Getting ready to give their heart to this person that has been waiting. So this is like two people coming together. Um, this person just about ready. Just about ready to... Um, do something I believe um, that's my take on it let's get here now threes are about uh, growth change mind body and, and soul uh, union it's unity Death. So death is a profound change, right? It's an ending. It's a release. It is a transformation, right? I remember I, met, I saw those butterflies, which was a, a sign of transformation. So there's going to be the end of a situation. It's the end of a painful situation by the looks of things. 
uh, death is a profound change. It's an ending of one thing that gives you an opportunity to live again. You know, something comes to an end so that you can rise up from the ashes, so that you can start fresh. So endings lead to new beginnings. So we have this person that has been waiting. They probably are waiting for their soulmate. Um, this I feel like we have a soulmate. This I'm waiting for my soulmate. That kind of thing. This this death is uh, this is like the Grim Reaper here, right? We even have the Hierophant in this card. There's a higher power here. There's a higher power that. There's God. There is God here in this card. Somebody's somebody's uh, reached the end. They've reached the end of a, a phase in their life, and they've learned something. This is, you know, you may this ending. This is at nighttime because the sun. Is, well, it's like early morning. Early morning, the sun is about to come up. I wonder if somebody could, something could happen. It's like, this is like, I'd say, uh, 4.30, 5.30 in the morning. 4 or 5.30 in the morning. Um... Anyhow, um... Endings lead to new beginnings. So you could hear news of somebody passing away. I'm sorry if you don't want to hear this, but it is what it is. And perhaps their soulmate is waiting on the other side. I don't know if that's the case. That may only be for one person that is watching this. Eight of Swords, Seven of Swords. So this is uh, uncomfortable. Oh, it's comfortable. So this is a uh, trapped, trapped in fear. We have somebody here that is trapped in fear, that is in denial, that is refusing to see that they have to break free. This is confinement contained in prison a mental prison seven of swords is, is uh, this person seems to be getting away seems to be escaping very very running away this person somebody's running away ha 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 I'm out of here <laughs> that's what I see here is we got somebody here that is escaping some sort of prison they're escaping some sort of trap, some sort of situation that they have been confined in. They are getting out. And that could be the ending. So this doesn't have to be a physical death. It's the end of this prison or the, the end of the situation where it's been uh, so much restriction, so confined, so... Uh, Grim. It's been somebody has been in a grim situation. It feels like they're they're escaping it. Seven of Cups. No, Seven of Cups is a card of options, choices. Uh, choose wisely. Be careful. Somebody's going to be presented with multiple options and you will need to choose very, very carefully because what you own owns you, right? If you choose the wrong option, you will have to pay the consequences for choosing the right option. Or the wrong option. So there's going to be a level of confusion here. All that glitters isn't gold. Make sure that you are looking deeper. Make sure that you are aware of what is in front of you. Somebody's going to be presented with multiple options and they're going to need to choose wisely. Four of Cups. 
And the Four of Cups is missing an opportunity. Somebody is missing an opportunity or they have missed. They have missed an opportunity for love. They were so focused, so focused on their friends and having fun and partying and socializing and having a lot that they missed a real opportunity for love. Somebody missed an opportunity for love. Or they ignored it. They may have ignored an opportunity for love. Or they may have ignored somebody that loved them. Because they were fearful. because Or because they were trapped in a situation. There is some sort of deception here. King of Cups reversed. Now we have an individual here that is interesting because of that man holding heart. I would consider that the King of Cups. King of Cups reversed is, so, is a man that is emotionally unavailable, that doesn't follow their heart, that doesn't have good intentions. That may be emotionally closed off, maybe going through uh, an emotional shutdown, you know, a communication shutdown, withdrawal of some sort, withdrawing from the world, you know. There could even be some, like I said, heart problems here. But the King of Cups in Reversed is emotionally withdrawn, non communicative, can't communicate, won't communicate, won't speak, doesn't communicate well, closed off. So we have an individual here that is, they may be shutting down, shutting down emotionally. There's other options here. Maybe somebody's cheating or they're sneaky. They're acting very, this is kind of like slippery behavior. They're exploring their options. They're trapped in a situation now and they're exploring their options. They're definitely thinking about it by the looks of things. Something is about to come to an end. That death card wouldn't be here. I th it could be a third party situation. Somebody has been missing or ignoring an opportunity for love. You know, this is definitely choosing to ignore. No doubt about it. Somebody has been choosing to ignore a love opportunity. Maybe for fantasy, you know, for all the finer things, you know, I, just for materialistic reasons or whatever. Somebody's been ignoring an opportunity. But that sun card is happiness in the six of pentacles receiving. Somebody's about to receive something. They're gonna about to receive an opportunity. They're gonna receive wow, look at this for a second. This is generosity. Somebody we have somebody here that's about to give. They're about to give somebody an opportunity. They're about to give somebody a gift. This is a blessing. Now, the sun card is, is a new life. It's a life-giving energy. It's a breakthrough. It is freedom. Somebody is totally breaking free from some sort of situation where they were uh, cheated. They're escaping. Somebody is escaping a very challenging situation. That sun card is a breakthrough. It is freedom. It is uh, being accepted. It's being in great health. 
It's a life-giving energy. It's a new day. It's a new beginning. By sun, the, by the time the sun, it's funny because I said here 4:30, 5:30, and here the sun comes up and it's a new day. This is this is whew, I'm free. So I don't know if somebody gets some sort of an epiphany or they go through some sort of spiritual awakening in the middle of the night or they have a dream or I don't know what happens. It's like somebody may realize as well because the sun is definitely seeing the light. It's enlightenment. Somebody may become enlightened or they see the light in some way. And they, they, they see the, they see their way to happiness. They see a better choice. You see here it seems really bright too. This person's putting their hands up and it's like it's really bright. So it feels like we have a, we have somebody's like seeing the light. They're seeing the light and all that is, you know, what their heart wants. Anyhow, this is about giving and take, give and take. It's about balance and receiving, receiving balance, receiving a gift. Somebody may be receiving, you know, I don't know, it's an offer of, of, I don't know, I think it's just a gift. I don't think it's any big offer. I think it's a gift. I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a job. I don't think it I think it's a gift. Somebody's going to be receiving a gift or help or charity. Somebody may be coming to help. This is a birth. It's the, this is a birth right here. And the sun is a card of heart. So something to do with the heart here. Somebody is going, somebody was or is or has been or something like that. Been having a hard time making a choice. Probably because of fear. This is trapped in fear. And they've been missing an opportunity, but now they see, they see clearly. This is clarity. Somebody sees clearly. It's a really, it's a re it really, they really do. They see very, very clearly. This is definitely seeing the light. The, you know, the sun is a, a blessing. Blessed, blessed with some sort of generosity. Somebody is going to be getting something really, really I don't know. It's a new opportunity that it's it's a birth of a new life of some sort. Um, it's very positive. We have a new beginning here. A gift of a new beginning. Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is being on top. Standing your ground. Protecting yourself, being recognized. We have a we have a warrior here. I consider this a warrior that is ready to fight. This person is ready. They are ready to fight. They're ready to battle. They're on top. They're ready to do whatever it takes to succeed. It's like they're strong. We have a very strong individual. Some, we could have somebody here that is uh, not willing. This person is not willing to just give up. This is a fighter, which is interesting. They're blocking. This person is blocking. There's a lot of faith here too. You know, I feel like this person, whoever this person is, they're looking up. They're looking up towards heaven and they have faith. So we have somebody here that maybe, I do feel like help is coming. 
help is coming to guide them. This is a guiding light. So I think somebody is going to be guided. They're going to be guided, you know, down the path, whatever path this is. There is a path. They're going to be given the strength and they're going to, they're, the light is going to shine. There's something about the light shining. We have a new beginning. Hmm. Four of Swords reversed. Extremely exhausted. We have somebody here that is fed up. Very, very frustrated. There could be some health issues. We have somebody here that may have some heart issues, some extreme health issues. They have, you know, it feels like... I don't know. It feels like help is arriving help is arriving to get this person healthy again however that resonates with you we have uh, this king of cups in reverse is an individual that is emotionally unavailable or their heart is broken this could be somebody whose heart is broken that needs to heal and healing is imminent because this is great help this is a healing energy but the only way they're going to heal is to break free from this trap that they're in. And they have to choose another option. So it's like the universe is going to give them another option. Because this is giving. They're going to give them another option. But you have to choose it. So this is a choice. They're free. There's a lot of free will here. You have to choose. Do you want to keep doing this unhealthy thing that is basically killing you? Or do you want to, uh, that could kill you. I mean, it could kill you. Or do you want to break free? Because this is freedom from it. It's going to take a lot of strength and perseverance to break free. And courage. So I think we have somebody here that is finding the courage to break free from some sort of prison that they have been living in. They have been choosing to stay in this other situation because of what it looks like. Because of the falseness. But it's like they don't it's like they don't want to do it anymore because it's heartbreaking. It's exhausting and they're uh, and they're fed up. So I think we get some we have somebody here that becomes enlightened. They like see the light overnight. They see the light overnight. That's, I mean, that's like what I see. And they run. It's like they run towards. Uh, happiness. This guy running. Remember I told you that before? He's running. It's so bright. It's so beautiful. Hangman reversed. This is... Uh, I mean, the hangman reversed is it's upright. It's a new, new perspective is needed. So maybe a new perspective has been gained. Seeing things differently. Somebody about to see something completely differently. And it, it happens overnight. It does. It happens overnight. Somebody has been fighting their inner self. But it's like now they see. Now they see. It feels like somebody goes from bottom to top, whatever that means. Now, now they, now they get to be on top. I 
I also I I also feel like for some of you, I don't know who this is for. So I mean, I'm changing the subject for a second. Somebody could end up getting arrested, or you could they could have something to do with handcuffs here, or or going to jail or going to prison. Okay, yeah, so there's like handcuffs here and here too, you know. So I'm not sure what is going on. Somebody could end up, you know, and this is like stealing or thieving or, you know, running away with something. We, we could have somebody here that, you know, it could be, a, I don't know if it's a burglary or whatever it is. There definitely could be something like that. We could have somebody here that thinks they're going to get away with it and they don't get away with it. They get caught and they get punished. They could even get hurt. There is nothing that can be hidden. Something is about to come to light. And this is somebody that's hiding something. Somebody is hiding something and it is about to come to light. And it does have to do with cheating, stealing, betrayal, something like that. It's about to come to light. Which is, I know this reading is all over the place, but it is what it is. We have this individual over here who is waiting. Waiting for an arrival. Whoever, whoever she's waiting for is trapped in their own mind, refusing to see things from a new perspective. But, I think that whoever she's waiting for is about to get enlightened and they're on their way. And that is what I think. Uh, good luck. 